So if we're aware of Yonga, right? You long Yonga boy. Jadi orang mau ngaruh mic soli.
هو تقوم ما له تقوم Oh, I was wondering where my video wasn't working. <laughs> oh, the fish for you all, eh? Imagine if you could get grades for being early. Ooh. Hey, I'll be waking up three hours early. <laughs> Just to make up for the grades that I'm not going to get. <laughs> Pati, can I hear you, Pati? Don't go check your messenger. Hold up. Togo, can you hear me now? Tom? You know why? Because uh, this is the uh, heavenly headphone. So yeah, I'm up to heaven now. <clears throat> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should wear a hat, man. I didn't even comb my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you really came on like that, bro. You really came on like that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the APTS tech there recording right now? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that, that's, why, that's why I never text anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pastanu. How are you, bro? Oh, Pastanu. That is a week. Hey, Pastanu. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's uh, very focused on uh, doing studies in, uh, in Tell them prayer. to leave the studies. Tell them to come talk to us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Tell him to wash his face before he comes on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was, telling, he was telling me to tell you to go wash your face before you come on the camera. <laughs> Sabe, vai ao café daí não? Hum? Aí Ik heb een mooie wil of jongen. Tom niet. Dat is pasta. You got your romantic t-shirt on. <laughs> like you're ready to, to be on the notebook yeah. or something. And my romantic pants. <laughs> my romantic pants. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder, they're recording us right now. I know, this guy. This guy. Only the class. You should have you should have you should have um seen when, when he first came on, bro. <laughs> Fully my shirt and everything. <coughs> oh, coronavirus. <laughs> Toko, so you're not you're not able to work during the week then, yeah? During school time. Ah, uh, nah, Toko. Because um Right, how's about us fully just having a conversation on the on the on the Zoom? <laughs> nah, but yeah, nah, I can't work because of uh, what's it called? Because of the hours that that my classes are on, that the parents are on. Like, it starts like halfway through the day, and I can't like. There's no use of me going to work and then coming back. I figure, bro. Early. Oh, we're supposed to go back uh, August fourth. But I was thinking, oh, yeah. if we go back and the whole purpose is to go back and work and stuff like that. But if we go back and these are the mm -hmm. hours for the classes, it's not going to work out. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. The, the hours are crazy. Yeah. I mean, the family? It's not... Yeah, bro. They're good, man. They're good. Grandma? Yeah, grandma's good. 
She's in she's in Oz. Oh, she's still oh, can she can't come back or she just wants to chill over there? No, well well bit of both. Oh. Yeah. Bro, the time's very very fast when the start is not um start yet. Eh? The class is not start yet. But when mm. does uh class start, oh my the time's very slow. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, when you guys look, you guys look at the letters. You guys can, uh, you guys can uh, memorize them already. Like when you guys look at the, how you say, when they write the letter. The yeah, the no, signs. No, I'm not writing any the letter. Oh. No. Oh, I, I've been trying. trying. I've been trying to learn. Remember, this is record. I've been trying so hard to learn, and yeah, I just, I've been trying to get old. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic had to close his eyes when he said I'm trying to learn <laughs> <laughs> and his camera is freezing now <laughs> God, God said that's a lie I love you I'm not going to call you up. Yeah. Tom, what happened? You have been in- I don't know. Mm. All right. I just finished my prayer meeting. I just... Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Morning prayer meeting, bro. Yeah, man. You know how it is. <sighs> Bucky was not the only one with a prayer mountain. Togo. We live in Baguio. There's a prayer mountain. I think I haven't seen that prayer mountain in like uh, three weeks. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Phineas. Morning, Dominic. You look very handsome this morning. Mm. Hey, Phineas. You, you look so handsome, man. Oh, my. Hello, yeah. Hello, good morning. Morning, everybody. Morning, everything. Huh? <laughs> morning, every time. Someone <laughs> that I don't know. Uh, morning, Professor. Okay. Morning. Morning, Professor. Morning, How are you? Just a minute. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> sorry, what did you say? Her name is Morning um, Gracious Professor. Ah, yeah, yeah, Gracious. yeah. Very gracious and greeting, Professor. <laughs> but don't forget, the man got a final man, so it's two. <laughs> <laughs> There's a final form. <laughs> There's a final form of man. <laughs> <laughs> and I pray today that you bless June Kim and... Oh, good morning, sir. Oh, I was just Give crazy. Him a <laughs> Awesome class today, guys. Uh, same time tomorrow, yeah? <laughs> God is good. All the time. Yeah, that's right. God is good all the time. You know how you use that God is good all the time when you start a like sermon or something to like get the people crowd, uh, riled up there? Yeah. Yeah. I did it one time at a church. They didn't know what to say. I go, God is good. Everybody's quiet. I go, yes, and you guys say all the time. Amen. <laughs> <Let's start. laughs> hey, Dominic, I like your chair, man. Yeah. It, it also has a message as well. Yeah. For real? Man. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, so don't to bring that one when you come. And just messages me while I pretend to listen. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> messages. <laughs> That's what happens when you game. joke around too much. Yeah, I joke around too much. <laughs> but if you joke, you have to tell the truth. Not making up <laughs> stories. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm freezing like an ice. Oh, remember when you came to the house? You were talking about that final form stuff. Yeah, and we didn't even learn about it yet. So I was like, uh, "Oh." Then when we heard about it yesterday, I go, "Oh, Apache's ahead of the curve." <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I I just uh, I just uh, read the PowerPoint, but. Oh, you went ahead? No, no, no. I just read just in because mm. I got. Mm, I need to prepare myself before that. <clears throat> Friday, yeah. Quiz Friday. Uh, I think I heard. Maybe I must be mistaken, but I think I heard he said next week. Well. <laughs> So you mean I study yesterday and today for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sammy. See you at Dominic. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doc, are we still on after class? Yeah, but I don't know how to invite for Zoom. I'll try to figure it out after this. If not, we can go on Messenger. Yeah. Either or. Alef bet gimet alet heva sa'in bet something like that. <laughs> What's up, boss lady? Samson, <laughs> you're still eating too. 
Uh, I need my breakfast. I need my dinner. Morning, zombie. Now, do you guys know if we're doing chapel every day again? Only on Wednesday. Oh, okay. Grab my coffee. Sorry, it's really windy here.
Alabaya. Do you think the workbook is worth getting? I can't hear you, Alabaya. I think you're on mute. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I wonder how much it is at your bookstore. Uh, 4,000, I would tell just a minute, 4,000 and... Uh, Here it's 76 Canadian. Let me see what that converts to. 4,842 pesos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Probably about the same. Huh? Yeah, probably. About the same? Yeah. Oh. About, Actually, four, I'm, yeah. about 45 to $50. In US, maybe it's 130, 4,800 pesos is 130 Canadian, 95 US. You guys okay. are getting charged more. <laughs> maybe that's before 20%. Yeah. You have to take 20% off. Uh, probably. I paid 45 pounds for mine, which is about US. 45? 45 pounds, that's English sterling, so what's that? 36 US dollars? Yeah, let me that's see. As cheap as I found it, it was a used version, but it's oh. in good condition, yeah, fine. But yeah, I was, there were some crazy prices on eBay that's for them. Quite, quite, mm, price, British pound. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's the best I found. I was seeing others on eBay, but they were eBay? like seventy dollars for the book, yeah. and then seventy dollars delivery to the UK. So I, yeah, I got this from an English one. I'll check eBay. I didn't get yeah, any. I'm relying. I'm relying on Samson or Albert to buy the book, and then we can share it. You know, <laughs> can I just? I thought uh, maybe someone could photocopy them for me. Oh, <laughs> no, that's kidding. illegal. Yeah. It's a big book as well. <laughs> uh, if, or if, you, if or if that's the way you want to go, then feel free to send some papers my way. I'm happy <laughs> to accept it. I just heard it's illegal. Yes, this is indeed. a seminary. I'm Let's keep it honest, guys. The Holy Spirit now. I hope so. <laughs> Sorry, I think I missed the most important part in your discussion. <laughs> I heard someone saying illegal. It sounds very interesting. Yeah. The one the to copy to pages the from whole the textbook. <laughs> right. My apology, you know, actually, it took me so long. I got I, a problem with my computer today, but finally, problem oh, is solved. Oh, good. You guys have help. I have nobody to help me here if I have a problem. Well, I can actually email our techie. She, he's helped me before with Moodle. Good. Okay. Um, can you clearly hear me? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Let's get started. Um, Okay, we are going to talk about foul pointing today. Before we start, let me just... Uh... Well, I would like to ask Pastor um, Pinias to lead us in prayer. Can you? It's okay. All right, shall we pray? Yeah, let's pray. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Father, thank you today for you have called us for this uh, learning uh, Hebrew language, Lord, uh, through which you have spoken to your people and also you are still uh, speaking to us through that word for, uh, you, uh, for your uh, word to be heard. Father, as we learn this language by, by your Holy Spirit, teach us and also uh, uh, help us, Lord, to learn and also for us to know you better and for, you, uh, for us to love you more and also bless upon our classmates in different countries 
knows our instructor, uh, Pastor Jun Kim. Father, lead us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. All right. Um, quite slow right now. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, can you see that that is it being recorded now? I can't hear yes. anything except static. Yeah, it's being recorded. All right, good. Yeah. Good. So, have you memorized Hebrew alphabet already? Hopefully. Uh, yeah, a little bit, not the whole thing yet. Okay. I'm working on it, sir. But do you think you are ready to take your quiz tomorrow? I thought you said it's next week. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that quiz, I thought that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Um, just for the, um, the quiz tomorrow, does it include the, um, the final forms as well? Yeah, thank you for the question. But, you know, there is good news. Actually, I was talking with El Abaya, and then I thought that it might be really hard for you to take the exam tomorrow. So, um, praise the Lord. You are going to take your alphabet quiz next week on Tuesday. So, um, please but make sure that you will be ready by the time. Because today we are going to learn about Hebrew vowel pointing. So it will be included there. But in terms of um, what is it, the level of the vowel pointing, it's not really that hard compared to Hebrew alphabet. So during weekends, you can still work on it. Okay, another thing that uh, we need to talk about uh, your quizzes, uh, your assignment. Actually, I think sometime next week, we are going to start giving you the assignment. But uh, actually, this is the way how it works. As, as I already explained, we have lessons two times a week. That's on Tuesday and Thursday. So whenever we are dealing with a new lesson, then normally uh, there is a new assignment. But on the following day, we are supposed to t spend some time, you know, dealing with this uh, assignment, which means, you know, if I give you an assignment on Tuesday, then you need to submit it uh, by the next day before we start the class. Actually, we just normally did this and then we couldn't find it um, really hard. Everybody was okay before and then we want to make sure that, you know, the amount of your assignment is manageable and doable. So that's something that you need to be aware of. So whenever we uh, have a new lesson, then just make sure that you Finish your assignment first, okay? And then, so that we can move on to uh, the exercise, okay? That's one thing that I wanna highlight. Do we have any question regarding your assignment or quiz? So, sir, so whatever, assign whatever we cover on Tuesdays and Thursdays, mm -hmm. we will be tested the following meeting on. No, what I'm saying is it will be, um, there will be assignment every Tuesday and Thursday. And then you have to submit your assignment by next day before we start the class. Okay. Because your assignment will be something that we are going to work on on Wednesday and Friday. Okay. Right. So if you can submit your assignment by Wednesday morning and Friday morning, that will be okay. So I'm trying to tell you that you will be given just a half day for your assignment every week. That you may find it some, somehow really hard, but it's not really that hard. Everybody who was taking Hebrew language before didn't have any problem. So we will see, and then I'm sure that Elabaya will give you generously the assignment, I mean, okay? So don't worry. 
And then just feel free to let me know whenever you have uh, any difficulty regarding your assignment. All right. So are you ready to sing? Oh. Seems like you're not ready. Okay, please unmute yourself so that I can hear you. It's okay. All right, ready. Let's just sing alphabet song. One, two, three, four. Alleluia. <laughs> Sorry, I know that the, the sounds <laughs> it's a problem. Really. Let me sing first. Let me sing first, okay? Um, and you hear in the time. Alle per kimera le te batain kete he yo kabramet menuzamek ain peta de kobre shin shin tahak. All right, uh, I believe you guys are ready. So I'm gonna ask uh, Steve, Stephen Pambu. Come on, your time. Oh, Steve. Oh, you can do it. I bet I is correct and everything is okay. The ending is the <laughs> important part. Okay. All right, then. Um, Ifel, you want to try? I might be out of tune, but I, I'll try. Yeah, go ahead. Bob <laughs> Zain. I think that. Oh, shucks. I in practicing. You can do it. You can do it. I'll yeah. have to practice, sir. Yeah, no worry at all. Yeah, actually, you're doing a good job. Move on. All right, uh, one more person. Uh, maybe, um, Kanae, can you sing? Yes. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right, so, so keep on practicing, okay? Um, it, it, it really helps, okay? I will. All right. Um, yesterday, we are talking about, you know, some confusing words and most importantly, we are talking about the dot. And then the name of the dot is what? Do you remember? Dagesh Len. Yeah, Dagesh. Actually, yeah. Dagesh. And then there are two kinds of Dagesh. Okay. So the first one is Dagesh Len. Dagesh Len. The second one is Dagesh Dagesh Forte. Okay. Okay. Oh, Chompi, it sounds so loud when you're flipping you know, the page. Okay, so be careful. It's okay. Um, all right, let me just give you a little uh, clarification here. Okay, how are we going to see the difference Dageshi Lene and Dageshi Porte? Okay, let me just explain this. Uh, I think this is not good. Let me use whiteboard. I think uh, there is uh, some function there, whiteboard, right? 
let me practice on this. Okay, uh, where is whiteboard? I need to go to share screen, sir. Right, I'm there. Down the okay, hall. yeah. <clears throat> okay, good. Can you see that? Can you? Oh, no. Right. no? Yeah, I can see it. You cannot see it. It's okay, never mind. I will then try another one. This is quite uh, complicated, but I think we can do it. Okay, let me go for this. I hope it did work. Okay. Can you see? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. It's very stylistic. Do you do you like it? Oh yes, my! Sir. <laughs> what is it, sir? Oh, it's a heart. It's oh, a right. built-in function in my computer, Samsung. Samsung is better than a uh, MacBook, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Korean. All right. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, normally, Hebrew words consist of three alphabet letter okay now this is something that you will learn uh, when it comes to hebrew verb it normally has three one two three uh, letters okay sometimes you will see two but you may see the dot comes here or the dot that the, the dot comes here okay Okay, the for, for most important thing is whenever you see Begad Kepatu letter, then, especially in the beginning, then that's for sure it is what? Dagesh Lene. Okay, uh, Dagesh Lene only comes for Begad Kepatu letter, especially when they are coming in the very beginning of a war. And then I told you, whenever it comes in the beginning of a syllable, but it's not really accurate definition. I, I will just need I, I will just need to explain further regarding that one later. But okay, one more time. What if you have a dot, which is not um, on the uh, on the letters that are not pegati kepat letter? Then what is it? Forte. 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 Why? Because yeah, absolutely. Uh, Begad Kepat letter can only take Dagesh Lene. Mm -hmm. So whenever you see the dot coming for any alphabet other than Begad Kepat letters, and they cannot be Dagesh Lene. All right? So that mm -hmm. should be Dagesh Forte. Okay, that is one clue. All right? Another clue is this. If you have a dot here, all right, and then if this dot is preceded by a bow pointing here, then that should be Dagesh Forte. Are you following me? If you have yeah. a dot here, and then if there is a preceding bow pointing here, by the way, we're going to talk about you know, what kind of a bow pointing we have in Hebrew. Okay, if you have a bow pointing here, then it should be Dagesh Forte which has a doubling function. Are you following me? Yes. All right. I hope I'm clear enough. Okay. And something like uh, <clears throat> today, uh, let me just show you another thing in today's uh, PowerPoint. And it will help you to better understand. Okay, come on. Ah, okay. okay, this is the bow pointing. Can you see that? 
So I we did. have A class, IE class, and OU class. So by the way, it looks a bit confusing. So I'm going to let you know what it, what it means by all those A sound and IE sound and OU sound. By the way, you don't need to pay attention to the alphabet bet. It's just an example. Because without a consonant, you don't know how to put the vowel pointing. So when you are looking at this chart, actually you don't need to really pay attention to the, the Hebrew alphabet bet. You know, even it may come together with dalet and resh, okay? But the bet is just an example, all right? So you need to pay attention to the small, you know, dots and then small line and all those things. They are the vowel pointing, okay? We will come back to this, but my point is this. Okay, if you look at this and, right, look at this. By the way, this is a pronounce, this is pronounced beko bene. Beko bene. Here, what I'm trying to say is, okay, look at this uh, dot. Okay, is this dageshi lene or dageshi porte? Dageshi porte. Porte. Okay, first of all, it comes for the capital letter, right? Mm. Yes. Okay, so then there are two possibilities. It could be dageshi lene or dageshi porte. All right, mm. but I told you very important tip today. In order for this dot to be dagesh forte, then there should be one preceding vowel pointing. But if you look at the preceding component, this is just lamet without any vowel pointing underneath, below. Are you following me? Unlike those things, this one has this small two dot with va, and this one has, this cuff has something here it looks like t and this one has nothing okay which means this lamb has no vowel pointing so in light of what i said today this dot is not preceded by a vowel pointing are you following me yes. then this one is not <clears throat> dagesh forte okay so in order for okay look at this this one has what Dagesh. Dagesh. And it's not Pega de Capital letter, then that should be what? Forte. Forte. Yeah, it works for the number Dagesh. one rule. But a, apart from it, actually, this Dagesh Forte, this Dagesh is preceded by a vowel pointing. Point. You can see that it's a small dot here, right? It is called mm. Hirek, by the way. So it's a, it's a vowel pointing. So let me tell you this. This is the summary. If you have a dot working for Pega de Capat letter, then you got to be careful. Why? Because there are two possibilities. Dageshi Lene and Dageshi Porte. If this dot comes for any Hebrew alphabet other than Pega de Capat letter, then that's for sure. That is... What? Or, Dagesh? Or, okay. Forte. Right. Okay, when we have the dot coming in one of the Begad Kepat letter, then that's confusing. But when you, what, what do you need to look at? You need to see if there is a preceding bow point. <laughs> you can see a preceding bow point, then that means Dagesh Forte. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. All right, good. So uh, that's it. And then we are going to deal with the bow pointing again. Okay. Let me just give you this. Text time. Okay. Okay, first of all, Hebrew vowel pointing has a sound. And then when you say I and E class, 
it has two different sounds. So like I will make E sound and E will make E sound. Yeah. O make O sound. You make U sound. So A, E, E, U. A, E, E, O, U. But as you can see, I and E belongs to the same class. I don't know why. But somehow it has something to do with the pronunciation later, but it's not a big deal. So what is it really important is, you know, the specific sound. Okay, let's talk about this first. Okay, you need to remember the name, by the way. Okay, what is it? It is called pata. Say pata. 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 So pata, pata, this one is not pata. pata. This one is pata, okay? Pata. But in order for you to locate it, you need an example of an alphabet, Hebrew alphabet consonant. So that's why we are using bet here. <coughs> so you need to understand that, okay, if this is small, what is your horizontal line comes under a letter that is called pata. pata. Say pata. 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 Okay, and then this one has a sound. All right, what is the name of this? Bet. 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 Which has what sound? B. B. All right, so with this Dagesh Lene, then there will be B. B. Okay, B. B. And then as I said, Pata has what sound? Uh, 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 uh. So you need to put then A. Uh. Then it is ah. pronounced what? Ba. 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 Right, this one is ba. Okay, ba. are you following me? Yes. Ba. So uh, for your quiz, just for your information, when you're taking your um, quizzes next week, uh, you will be required to write all Hebrew alphabet in order, name, and the sound. And for your Hebrew vowel pointing, I will just give you this chart without the bow pointing, which means you will see this bet, this bet, all mm. those bet. All right. So what I'm expecting is you are going to fill in by writing this one, and then you need to put this name. That's it. Are you following me? Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. All right. Why is it so much important for us to remember the name? Because the name contains the sound. As I said, it is called pata. And then the far, first vowel pointing is a. Ah. Am I right? The first mm. vowel sound is a. Ah. That's why it is called pata. Ah. Moving on to next one, the name of this two, two eyes is called segol. Say segol. 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 And as Segol. you are paying attention to the first <clears throat> vowel sound in the name, it has what? E sound. E. That's why this segol has E sound. Next one is called hirek. hirek. Say hirek. 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 And then hirek. it is one small dot. See? One dot and two dots. You know they they really make difference so when you are just falling asleep and by accident you just to put one dot then that becomes totally different word so you gotta be really careful when you are writing hebrew letters quite interesting so okay so the first is the name is hirek that's why it has e sound are you following me so that is the importance of name so when you remember the name then you can remember the sound, all right? Okay, one more time. The first one is called pata, pata. and then that's a small horizontal line like this, okay? But should mm -hmm. be coming under the letter, Hebrew letter, alphabet letter, okay? That's pata, and then it has short sound, short sound. What does it mean by short sound? We have long sound but there are two kinds of long sound first one is changeable and unchangeable okay if this pata 
has one more vertical line, then it looks like T, <clears throat> um, right? So it starts from actually pata. But if you have one vertical line like here, then it becomes what? Kamet. Say Kamet. 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 As you can see, the first vowel sound is A. Ah, so it's, it still belongs to A class. Okay? So talking about A sound, which has A, ah, A ah sound, we have Pata, Kamet. Comment. These are the most uh, well, commonly used vowel pointing. Pata. Say, pata. 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 That's a short A sound, so you're going to say, pata. 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 And then this comment has a long sound, and then you're going to say, not comment. Instead, you need comment. to say, comment. Comment. Right, because this comment. is a long sound. So this comet, ah, and Kamet. then comet, comet. Do you see Kamet. the difference in terms of uh, sound? Kamet. Yes. Okay, good. Um, then let's move on Kamet. to another unchangeable law. Okay, this unchangeable law. You you got you got you got going you got you got to pay attention to this comet together with this. Hey, it's very confusing. Why? Because you may think this comet is. Comet. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, comet. All right. This uh, comet comes with a hey. consonant, which is called hey. But this hey is not a consonant, but it is a combination of a long. Uh, about pointing. So if you look at this ending, okay, this comet that comes together with he, and we don't pronounce this he as a consonant, mm -hmm. as if it is called ah uh, because he uh -huh. has h sound, comet has a sound. So you may sound like you may uh -huh. call it ah uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. but it's not the case. Why? Because this he. Is not consonant, but it is uh, making and composing a long, unchangeable, long vowel pointing. Oh. Okay, are you following me? Yes. Uh, sir, right. yeah. what, what's the difference between a changeable long and unchangeable long? All right, the name carries the meaning. So if you see this comment, long sound, Sometimes the vowel pointing will be changed depending on the forms and stems. You, we, we are going to talk about it later. Mm -hmm. But whenever we have this you know, uh, vowel pointing, we cannot expect that even a change on the vowel pointing will take place. So those, those um, unchangeable vowel pointing, these things, okay, will not change at all. So it will remain as it is all the time. Okay, thank you for the question, Eiffel. Uh, we will come back to this one as we <laughs> have a concrete example later. Okay, but anyway, in order for me to answer your question, unchangeable long vowel pointing will not change because it's unchangeable. And changeable long vowel pointing can be changed when it comes together with a component that affects the vowel pointing. You know, actually, Hebrew language is quite sensitive to sound. So, let's say when we have a Hebrew verb, it comes with different person, gender, number, and then it carries different you know, components uh, appearing in the form of Hebrew alphabet, you know, consonants. But it comes with some change. So normally, the Hebrew consonant will not change, but the vowel point will change. It's very confusing sometimes, but don't worry. In the old Bible, there was no uh, vowel pointing at all. It, isn't it interesting? But Hebrew people didn't have any problem when we, they are reading the Hebrew Bible without the vowel pointing because that's what they normally, you know, read. That what 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 uh, that's what they were normally reading. 
So they know, they knew how to read it. But anyway, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but the important thing is you need to know how to distinguish all those things, okay? So we, uh, we are done with uh, this unchangeable R sound, but it still comes with comet. So if you memorize this comet, then you will know, okay, this one is a sound, okay? Okay, let's go down to composite sure. Okay, this one is called composite sure. Um, have you ever memorized this word, sure? Sure is sure. these two dots, the vertical two dots. We have, what is it? Sere here that looks like eyes, all right? So if you have two dots, in the line of horizontal, horizontal line, then that's called sere, and then it has a sound. But if you have these uh, two lines, I mean, two dots like this, in a vertical line, then that is called shua. Mm. shua. Actually, shua. shua has no sound by oh. itself. And we are going to talk about it. Actually, oh. I need to say, it is sometimes vocal and sometimes it's a silent. So I'm not supposed to say Shua has no sound, but uh, we will talk about it when it comes uh, with the sound, all right? But anyway, this one is called composite Shua. Why? Because of the presence of all Shua. Because as you can see, those three letters all coming together with Shua. Shua. But why is it called composite Shua? Because Shua comes with another vowel pointing. So this shua comes with, what is it? Pata. All right. And then this shua comes with this one, sego. And then this shua comes with kamet hatu. And this one looks like kamet. It's identical. Are you following me? This one, this one, they are identical in terms of appearance. Okay. Oh, you, you probably feel like, oh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Thank you for Thank the you. hands, baby Lin. I can see that you, you, you have a headache right now. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll be there. Don't worry, it's okay. Um, it looks confusing, but it's not that difficult. Trust me. James, you, you understand what I'm saying, right? Okay, good, good, good. By the way, okay, let's finish the composition first. Uh, we are going to talk about the difference between Kamet, Hatub, and Kamet soon. But anyway, this one is not Kamet, but it's Kamet, Hatub. But anyway, so those things are coming for all Shua. So that's why it is called composite Shua. So since this composite Shua comes with the Pata, which has a sound, they all fall into the same class. What is it? A class. A class. They have a sound. So all those things have a sound. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, spend some time and then you will, you will be able to do it. Come on. Okay. Okay, then if we are done with A sound, then let's move on to I, E sound one more time. If you have these three dots, it looks like two eyes and one mouse. That is called Sego. Say Sego. 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 And then it has E sound. So it's E. As I call it Sego. Then what is the sound of this with the bet? Bet. Eh. It becomes. Eh. Eh. Okay. So bet with dageshi lene has p e. sound, e. and sego has e. e sound. So you eh. put e. e, then that's gonna be be. Eh. Eh. Okay. All right. Okay, but without the dot, like this, two eyes, 
okay? It, it is called Tere, called Tere, say Tere. 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 And it still has E in the beginning. So it has E sound. So Segol has short E, so you're going to, you're going to pronounce it Segol. 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 Quickly, quickly pronounce it. Segol. And then Tere is not Tere. It is Tere. Tere. Okay, do you see the difference in terms of pronunciation? All right. Okay. If you are confused between this uh, long sound and short sound in terms of E class, you can just uh, remember like this. Okay, you have two eyes. Okay, all of a sudden, you, you lost your mouth. That's why it sounds longer. E where is my mouse? You know, something like that. <laughs> okay. It didn't work. It's By the way, eh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so think about it. If you have two eyes and two mouths, then eh, yeah, it's okay. But when you don't have your mouse, then it's going to be eh, where is my mouse? Okay. It'll help you. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, um, sometimes I, I, I saw my Hebrew students, you know, rapping by themselves. They just simply recall this moment when they are confused and they think about it. Oh, okay, Pastor Jun explained their way and they laugh and I know what is going on. Okay, so uh, here, Sego and Tere. All right, let me move on. Let's look at unchangeable long. Here and we have what here? Tere. But tere comes with yod. 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 So here the, the last yod is not consonant, but it is a combination of a long vowel pointing. So if you have this tere together with yod, then do not pronounce it as if this yod has a consonant sound. Yod has Y sound. And then Tere has a sound, and somebody may call it a. No, it's say it is called a long a. Okay, okay, let's move <clears throat> on. Uh, wait, sir. Yes, Tere plane mm -hmm. has the two dots. Did, did you say that the hirek one, the hirek plane, it also sounds like a? Hey. Okay, I'm moving on. I'm moving on to it. Thank you for the question. We need to start with then hirak here because this is a short hirak, right? It says hirak. If we have one dot, then that is called hirak. Okay, hirak. say hirak. 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 This is the hirak. short sound hirak. But as you can see, if this hirak comes with your, then it is called hirak plane. All right, thank you for the reminder. Actually, this one is not simply tere, but it is called tere plane because we need to see the difference between this, um, what is it, the tere, and then this tere. So this one is called tere defectiva, and this one is called tere plane. But when you say tere, then we will simply, you know, we'll talk about this. So not really necessary for us to remember tere defectiva, just to call tere, okay? And hire, not hire defectiva, but you need to understand what it means, right? Some of you may teach Hebrew language in the future, and in order for you to be the Hebrew teacher, then you need to understand how it works. But anyway, so all those short sound called defectiva, okay? And then all those uh, unchangeable long called planet. So one more time, this one is one that is hirek and it has I sound. So together with this bet, and it will make B I sound. What is it? B. And then this one is same, B. But this I has long sound. So it should be 
B. 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 And this one, B. B. And this one, B. B. This one, B. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This one is a long sound. This is a B. Sorry. This one, B. 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 Actually, no two of these have long sound. So. Okay, and then this one, pa, 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 pa. You know, <laughs> but nobody will pronounce this one, pa. Okay, it's gonna have a little longer sound. Okay, mm -hmm. let me move on. Okay, so they are called Zere Plane and Hire Plane. So just the, the yeah. thing that you have to remember is those yod is not consonant, but it is uh, one of the components of unchangeable long vowel pointing. Are you following me? Yes. Okay, as I said, Segol, and then this one has Segol together with the Shua. So it's going to make a very short S sound. By the way, this composite shua will carry which whichever you know class it has. Ah. This one has a ah sound then, but it's very short ah. Okay? Ah. And this one is very ah. short at. Ah. And this one has very short o. Oh. Oh. So even oh. this composite shua is the sounds of this composite shua is a shorter than this short about putting. Okay, oh. we are going to talk about the sound of shua today. So this is it. Let me just move on to another class, which is O and U class. Okay, we will talk about it later. Okay, but anyway, Kamet uh, Hatu. This one is called Kamet Hatu. is identical to Kamet. So we will talk about the difference between them later. But anyway, this one has O sound, so it's Kamet Hatu. And if you look at three dots, okay, running together. I'm always, you know, imagine, imagine, imagine. I just, I always imagine this <clears throat> as if three kids are learning, <laughs> shouting. And when they are learning, then they just, uh, you know, shout so much. They, they are so much excited. Whoa! And, you know, <laughs> they normally make this noisy. All right. It'll help you to memorize it. So this one is called kibbutz. Say kibbutz. Kibbutz. But unfortunately, the, the sound is coming from the second vowel pointing from the name. That's why it's U. It's not ki I sound. So you need to pay attention to it. It is called kibbutz, but it takes the vowel sound from the second one. Okay? So U sound. Kibbutz. So if you have a consonant and then you are not supposed to write this way in a horizontal line it should go a little bit down can you can you see me drawing yes. like this all right like do re mi oh i think it's supposed to be do shi ti ra it's going down all right Okay, uh, is that clear? Yes. Okay, let me move on. And okay, most of the Hebrew vowel points come under a consonant, except holem. Holem is taking one dot. Hirek is also taking one dot. But the difference between them is the location of the dot. Right? So yes. Hirek takes the dot below. And then Holem, defective, Holem takes the dot above the letter. Up. Okay? If you see the dot above the letter, then it is O sound. Okay? So the pronunciation is B and O. So what is it? O. Oh. 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 Okay. 
<laughs> so it is called Holem Defectiva. <clears throat> Holem so, Defectiva. All right, but you can simply call Holem because Defectiva mm -hmm. doesn't need to be really uh, pronounced. So whenever you say Holem, then people will say, okay, mm -hmm. that means Holem Defectiva. What is important is planning to differentiate it from Defectiva. <clears throat> so it's called Holem Plane. Okay, this Holem Plane and this one is called Shure. They are coming together with Vav. So some people may think this is a vowel, uh, consonant Vav. But no, actually this Vav taking a dot above it is called Holem Plane. Say Holem Plane. Holem Plane. Holem Plane. Actually, in the ancient time of Hebrew language, there was no distinction between Holem Defectiva and Holem Plane. But mm -hmm. later on, they started differentiating. So, but anyway, they belong to the same category. That's why it is called the same, whole name. But in order for us to see the difference between them, we need to call it whole name, plenty. Okay? So, how are you going to write it? Just write vav with a dot above it. Holem. Then that's call it called Holem Plane. Okay? Have you ever watched the movie Shrek? The Green <laughs> Monster? Yes, Shrek. All right. This uh, Shrek is called because of the, the, the character Shrek. Mm. Oh, so I got something here. Shrek. Oh. Oh, I see now. Shrek. Can you see the Shrek here? Yeah. Oh. Shrek. Yeah, yeah. This, that's the uh, ears of Shrek. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. That's the most good-looking Shrek I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, the best, the best. Right. So... But don't be confused with this. Some people may say, oh, it looks like a Shrek's ear. Okay. Not at all. Okay. okay. So there is a hole inside the, the ear, right? So the, the hole should be here. All right. Okay. What is the name of this? Shrek. Shrek. So this one is Shrek. So it will make boo sound. Okay. This one. Oh, sound. Okay. This one also, bow sound. This one is going to make short bow. So, bow. This is bow. This is bow. This is bow. This is boo. Okay. This one is bow. This one is bow. All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay, then let me tell you this. How are we going to see the difference between Kamets Hatu and yeah. Kamets? Mm. Number one, whenever you see this Kamets or Kamets Hatu, that always, not always, more than 95%, it is Kamets. Okay, it will work. So if you are confused, just choose Kamets. Uh. All right? Uh. And then, Kamet Hatsu, actually, we are going to talk about it uh, later when it becomes Kamet Hatsu. There are two uh, aspects that should be satisfied in order for this Kamet to be Kamet Hatsu. We will come back to this one today as we are ending. But uh, according to my experience, if you are familiar with your vocabulary, by the way, you have to start memorizing your vocabulary. I have uploaded uh, the vocabulary list. Have you downloaded? I'll check. Yeah, actually you can check it. You download it and start memorizing from number one. Actually there are 10 uh, preposition and then there is another vocabulary that starts from number one. Mm -hmm. So for the first your vocabulary quiz, you are going to deal with 30 vocabularies. That's for the first oh, time. Okay. 
week? Uh, don't worry, I will give you enough time because you are going to take your vocabulary quiz, uh, no, the alphabet quiz on Tuesday. So probably you are going to take your vocabulary quiz from Friday, Friday. next week. <clears throat> okay? Is that, is that okay? Friday. That's July the second, uh, July the first for you guys. But that's, or... that's our tentative uh, schedule. I, I'm very flexible. Okay. So I'm, that's why I'm always double checking with you. So don't Friday worry. The week that, after. Okay. So I'm sorry, Dominic. No, carry on, sir. Okay. I, I like the, the, the backdrop though. Okay. It, it looks good. Anyway, um, so you have to memorize 30 vocabularies, but when it comes to the first 10 vocabulary, it's very short one. So I don't mm -hmm. think it will, it will be really hard for you to memorize all the 30 vocabularies. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying you need to start yes. memorizing it. Okay. Oh, I, I found it. I'm just going to print it. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I was talking about the difference between comets and comets, I had to. So depending on your vocabulary, you will Ish. always know how you will pronounce comets had to or identify comets had to. In Hebrew one and two, you will have this word. What is this? Ha? Ha. And Kamet Hatsu together with Lamet. So this one is not Kamet. This one is Kamet Hatsu. And this Kaf has K sound. And then this A has O sound because it's Kamet Hatsu. And then Lamet has A sound. So you will pronounce it what? Kol. Kol. Kol means kol. All is call, call is all. <laughs> James, do you remember this? Call. Oh. Yeah. So call. this one will appear always as Kamet's Hatu because this is, that's why it is important for you to memorize your vocabulary. But apart from it, this, you can seldom see this Kamet's Hatu. That's why I'm saying, you know, whenever you have Kamet's, then it's, it's quite safe for you to pronounce it and understand it, identify it as a comet, not comet hatu. Okay, then let's move on to the specific uh, part to see how we can distinguish comet hatu from comet, especially for those who need to teach Hebrew language later. This is going to be quite important. Um, Lesson. Actually, when I was studying this, nobody was teaching me regarding how to see the difference. Okay. Okay, look at this. Um, in order for this comet, <laughs> this comet, you see comets, we have how many comets here? Let's look at this. We have one, two, and on the other side, we have one, and we have one. one. And then we have one. So mm. having those four words, actually the last uh, in the second row, and then the right one is only Kamet Hatu. So once again, you are looking at call, right? As I already explained. Mm. But there, the, there is a reason why it is call, uh, called call. Uh, in order for this Kamet Hatu to be Kamet Hatu, uh, it should be coming under uh, a, a word that is not unaccented and then closed syllable. One more time. There should be two components that should be certified. You remember unaccented and closed syllable. Okay, what do you mean? Different, uh, what is the difference between open syllable and closed syllable? <laughs> okay, uh, we have, let's say in English, cat. It is C A T. Okay. So it starts with a consonant C and then ends with what? T. <laughs> so 
this one is good start and good ending. So it is closed by wow. a consonant sound. So when mm. you have a syllable, and then like we say bo, ba, those things bo and o, and then it has no any closing consonant, consonant sound. Uh -huh. So the difference between closed syllable and open syllable depends on the last consonant sound. Mm. Uh -huh. If you have last consonant sound in a syllable, then that's considered as closed. Okay? And if you have only ba or bo, then that's open syllable. So mm. cat is it's closed low. one. Post. Okay? And what about then um, uh, bo? Open. 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 Yeah, Open. that's it. Okay, then let's come back. And you, you already know how to understand, you know, the difference between closed and an open syllable. Mm. What about unaccented? Okay, in Hebrew 3, you will uh, learn about all those uh, marks, meaning accent, and then, you know, all different types of um, sounds, you know, stuff. But normally, Generally speaking, if you have a Hebrew vocabulary, the accent falls under the last, the last syllable, normally, or even the second to the last, not oh, on yeah. the first. Oh. Are you following me? Yeah. Never. So in terms of the location of accent, it normally comes for the last or the second to the last. Okay, then uh, let's let's talk about this. Uh, okay, this one is this comet comes under. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, this one the, the first. Let's talk about the first comet. Actually, this one comes under open syllable. Okay, mm -hmm. because this is open. Okay, I, actually, it has nothing. Um, uh, let me see. Okay, so this one is uh, ending. Mm. Okay, it's it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Mm. Late. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's talk about accent first. Accent, as I said, accent comes normally either on the last ha a red. So how many syllables do we have? Three. Ha a red. Uh, so the let is closed syllable. And red. ha is open syllable. A is open, open. syllable. Are you are you following me? Yes. So okay, far. but ha a let let uh, ends together with a consonant sound. That's why it is perfect a closed sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why it is open syllable. So ha a they are all open. What about shama? Shama is a sha ma. So actually sha is not coming with a consonant at the end. So it is still open syllable. Yeah. Okay. Talk about accent. As I told you, this first, the accent comes above ah. So it is ha aret. Ha aret. So the first comment has no accent, while the second comment has accent. So it is satisfying one aspect which is accent. Are you following me? But unfortunately, in order for the comets to be comets had to, it should be coming uh, to satisfy the aspect of un unaccented and then close. So this one comes for, what is it? Uh, un uh, accented and open. So they, this one is not actually satisfying um, two of them, but look at this. This one comes she under makes. unaccented, 
because this first one is not normally taking accent. So this one is a shama, shama. So accent shama. force of on ma, ma. right? Ma. So that's why it's kamet comes under oh. the sound that has no accent. So it is satisfying oh. the aspect of Many. accent. But sha is coming for open C level. So it's not satisfying the, the closest level aspect. All right. Look at this. Uh. This one is okay. Let me ask you this oh. uh, dot. Is this Dageshi Lene or Dageshi Forte? Dageshi Lene. Dageshi Forte. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who got the kapat? The shin. Yeah. Lene comes only for bega the kapat. So shin is not bega the kapat. Then that's really mm -hmm. obvious. Oh, this is shin is dagesh forte. forte. Are you following me? Yeah. So and the then, yes. okay. And then if the dot is preceded by a Bow pointing like hirek, then that is called forte. dagesh forte. So it's it's a mm -hmm. uh, satisfying to aspect. But by the way, so then this is gonna be oh, me, ani. and then dagesh forte ani. doubles the okay. sound. So it's a shin. So it's gonna be mish sham 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 sham. Okay, Shum. that big deal. You don't need to really understand Shum. the transliteration this this moment. But anyway, this misham has <laughs> excuse me, comet. <clears throat> and then as I said, um, the the accent normally falls under the last one or the the second to the last. Shum. So this one has accent. This comet. Are you following me? Yes. But this one. Cool. What is it? It's a closed oh. syllable because of the presence of mem. Okay. okay? So it's a misham. So in fact, it is on the satisfying closed syllable. Why oh. it should be coming under an accented syllable. Okay? So then this be ko vene. Be ko vene is satisfying these two aspects. By the way, this bed has the dot. Is it this Lene or Forte? In fact, Pega the capital letter can take Dagesh Lene. So there seem to be two possibilities, one more time. But the second clue is the bow pointing, preceding bow pointing. It has no preceding bow pointing. So then this one should Lene. be Dageshi Lene. 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 Okay. Whenever Lene. there is a preceding bow point, then that is Dageshi okay. Forte one more time. Are you following me? Yes. Okay. Oh. I Sir, hope I have a question. Okay. Um, the, I can only remember them as guttural. They always take a Dageshi Lene. Guttural? The guttural. Mm. The gutturals cannot take any dot, no matter whether it is Dagesh Lene mm -hmm. or Dagesh Forte. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the question. Okay, do you know what it means by guttural letters? Yes. We, we had a two Aleph, He, Chet, Ain. And mm -hmm. then even Resh. Resh is not guttural okay. letter. But thank you for the question. Okay, let me move on then. So this one is Dagesh Lene. So it's not doubling. But anyway, it is. The comets has what? The closing closed. consonant sound. So it oh. is closed syllable. And then the accent comes for bene. bene. So it is coming under an unaccented syllable. So talking about these two conditions, it is OK. So it is satisfying. That's why it becomes Kamet Hatu. <laughs> I know you have a headache. Uh, headache. It's okay. Uh, it's not a big deal. As I just said, if you have a Kamet, then just to consider it as a Kamet. All right? 90, more than 95, or even 98, or 99.9, .9, it is always, comments. I can say, always Kamet. But if you have 
this call, according to your vocabulary, call means what? All. Oh. All means call. Okay. Hot. Then there is a always comets hot. hot. That's it. All right. But for those who want to teach biblical Hebrew later, then at least you need to understand how to explain how it works. Are you, are you following me? It's okay. Uh, we will be able to talk about it. And if you have any question regarding this, just feel free to ask me. Uh, actually, sure. one, of our, one of our students emailed me that yesterday, the internet connection was not good enough. So sometimes, you know, the student couldn't really, you know, hear me explaining all those things. So the mm -hmm. student wants you to have uh, another extra uh, makeup class with me. I'm okay with that. Sometimes I think nice. as long as nice. Elabaya is okay, Elabaya will be able to help you too. Yes. So yeah, uh, Ethel? Yes, so, the, so it's a patak hatuk as long as it has a, both an act unaccepted and closed, right? They both okay. have unaccept, unac unaccented and closed, closed ending. Yes. For the hatuk to apply. Yes. By the I way, it's not hatta. It's a comet. Comet. Right. Hat right. That's it. You're right, Ethel. I, okay. I just have to study later what an unaccepted it or accent. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, that's it. So. Sir, please. I have a question. Okay. Um, seems like the our lecture is recorded. Uh -huh. If we can just uh. We, can we ask for, like, if there's a copy for this lecture? I will work on it. Uh, actually, I need to ask the IT guys. It seems like yes, they sir. are uh, recording it, and I need to get mm -hmm. it. So probably I can upload it to YouTube, yes. and yes, I sir. will put the link of the YouTube in our um, Moodle website, and yes, I will sir. let you know. Okay? Okay. So every uh, class will be recorded, and then mm -hmm. uh, uploaded to... YouTube, and I will let you know so that you will be able to listen to it whenever you want. All right? Okay. Yes, uh, I have a question. Yeah. Just a while back, the uh, book called Bene. If there is no Bene, then it uh, it becomes uh, Bukal. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Uh, just a while back, the the uh, the previous uh, slide it shows the uh, Bukal. This one. Bukal Bene, yes, it's uh -huh. Bukal Bene, right? Uh -huh. But if there is no Bene part, only uh -huh. uh, Bukal, uh, uh, there's I understand no Bene part, saying. then it becomes Bukal. Okay, that's a good question, really good question. Okay, um, then I'm, I will tell you, call will not take Kamet's form, but it will take Holem form in order for it to be called call always. You will know that. Thank you for the question. Okay, the, the Pini is asking, what if this Beko Bene has no Bene at the end? Then it's obvious that the call will take the accent, that it is not satisfying the unaccented syllable. Are you, are you under, do, you, do you understand what he means? Yes. So no, without Bene, then what will happen? Then uh, this uh, comment will not appear as it is. It will take holem without the ending. Call. So call will be call. always call. Be call. Uh, but, right? But this ending it's va 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 call be ga. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Ben, Adele, I think I need to finish because the five minutes already passed and some of you already have uh, another class five minutes from mm -hmm. now. So Okay, thank you for the, your enthusiastic, you know, attitude to ask a lot of questions. Okay, we will be able to come back to it. And I'm sure that next week, I mean, uh, next tomorrow, we are going to spend a lot of time for transliteration. So we will come back to the, you know, the, all the sounds of vowel pointing and consonants. So I'm sure we will have enough time to deal with this. Okay, so thank you once again. And sorry about the six minutes. I, I really wish to finish, you know, on time. But uh, my apology, I will do my best on my time. So I have a good day and then see you tomorrow again. God bless you. All right, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you too. Bye, Samson. I love you. Shalom. Boker Tov. Whatever.
so much for that, Hebrew. My head's going to explode. <laughs>